Okay, I'm going to look at paper 3 for June 2010. Okay, so I'll scroll down here. So we're doing the HTML section. Okay, now you get a bit of a a blurb which is telling you that we're going to end up with a top table, a middle table and a bottom table. Okay, it's not asking us to do anything yet. That's what we're going to end up with. So first of all we need to download these files which I've already done. And then using a the suitable software package, so we're going to be using expressions, we're going to create this new web page. I'm just going to copy that. Okay, so I'm going to go file, new and HTML. So it's new HTML, see untitled to HTML. So file save as. I just write in the name there. Now I've already made one. You shouldn't get this because it'll be the first time you're doing it. Okay. Now I'm going to attach the style sheet JX styles one. So you should know what a cascading style sheet is. So format, attach a style sheet, browse, style sheet one, open. Okay. Now the next question is going to ask me to create the top table using the content of JX top. Okay. Now I'm going to read a bit of head here because I know afterwards at the top of the page I need to create an anchor. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just press return. So I make a space so I can come back um, to put in my uh, anchor later. So I need to find the top uh, web page. So there's the bottom and uh, there's the top. So I open up the top. Just be very careful. So I'm going to copy that and I'm just going to paste it in. Oh. If this happens, it's because I didn't copy it properly, so I just need to be careful, so I'm going to undo that. So I'm just going to delete that off. So that's how it should look. Now, the next question is going to ask me to make this to 100%. So I'm going to click on it, right mouse button, and table properties. And over here I can see specify the width and 100%. I'm going to click on apply and then close. Now I prefer to work in what's called the split view. So I can see down here, if I click on an object, I can see the actual HTML code associated to that. Okay, now at the top of the page, create the anchor chord start. Now, sensibly, this is called a bookmark, so I'm going to insert a bookmark and I'm going to call that start and click on OK. Now, obviously, you don't want to see that, that's just a bookmark, it's my marking a place in the actual web page. Now question 7, at the middle table using three rows and two columns. So I'm going to go table, insert table, three rows and two columns. Okay. Now as shown in the diagram, if I go back to the diagram, you can see that these cells here to the left are merged. So I'm going to highlight these cells, right mouse button, modify, merge cells. Okay, and up here you can see the code that actually does that. That's question seven. So question eight, set the table width to ninety percent. Sorry, uh, table properties. Specify the width to ninety percent. You can see here it's not exactly. Okay, so and it wants to be in the middle, so the table properties, and I have alignment, and I'm going to go center. Now you can see my table is center aligned, and you can see the code written up here. 
Okay, as shown. Place the image JX Harbor in the left cell of in the left cell of the middle table. So in here I want to insert a picture from file. Okay, it was JX Harbor. Here you could give it some alternative text if for some reason the picture can't, but the exam board haven't asked for it, so and there's my picture inserted. Okay, now using the contents of JX text, so I need to open up JX text. Okay, in the top right, so I'm just going to copy and paste these in. that extra column and it wants these all to be heading 3 so I'm going to highlight that up in here and so I'll just double check that was heading 3 yeah style heading 3 so I'll take the next one Oops. let's make sure I highlight the text ok and then change that to heading 3, you can notice on the code it's written the tags in for heading 3 so if you wanted to you could just come up here and write in the tag for heading 3 ok now move on to the next question create the bottom table using the contents of JX bottom so I open up the web page for JX bottom okay and set it to a hundred percent of the width of the window so right mouse button table properties specify the width to 100% and then okay, replace the anchor here with a bookmark called or an anchor called snow zone so that's a bookmark so I just need to get rid of that and then insert my bookmark and it was called snow zone so I click on OK now creating a hyperlink uh, from the word snow and the top table to the anchor that we just made so to the snow zone so I'm going to scroll up to snow here I actually right mouse button hyperlink and I want to go to a place in this document you see there's an existing web page place in a document create a new document email address but it's a place in this document and we see snow zones there and I'm going to click on OK and there you can see the code that generates that okay now where it says click here our hyperlink to the anchor called start so go back down highlight just the click here right mouse button a hyperlink to start and I'll probably just save that as I go along save those pictures that's fine okay now an appropriate picture for sun sees sand and contact us 
Okay, and then afterwards you're going to have to change the shape of those images. But I'm just going to insert them to start off with. So, sun. So, insert picture from file. Now I'll do it for the sun. There's no alternative text. I'll highlight the C, insert picture from file. I think I'll go for. Mm, I'll have a keep it with the J axis. I think that might have been some extra pictures given that you don't need. Okay, and then the sand. Okay, and then they contact us. So, and I'm not going to worry about the the pictures being different because. I know that the question afterwards is going to ask me to change the size of these pictures. So we had a bit of a brief scan down. Set the width of each of these images, okay, to 160 pixels wide. Maintain the aspect ratio. So 160 wide pixels. That is. So right mouse button. Picture properties. The appearance and specify the size. You can see here it says keep the aspect ratios. That's already ticked. So 160 and you see the height changed with it automatically. Picture properties, appearance, it already is 160. Okay. Picture properties, appearance, okay. 160 And picture properties. Okay, so it was okay already. 160. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Okay, now create a hyperlink from the image placed at step 18. So the one that was the C to this file so and it needs to open in a new window called underscore C. What this means it doesn't want to replace the page on the screen, it wants to open it up in a new tab or in a new window. So it's quite easily done. So there's the, the picture. So right mouse button hyperlink. This time to an existing file. So I need to find it. So I'm going to click on here. And Okay, and there's C. Now this is the important part. You've got target frame over here. So I click on target frame, and you see new window. And it says underscore blank. Well, I want it to be called underscore C. That underscore is just a bit of syntax that the computer will understand to go. Oh, you want this page open, but you want to open in a new tab. So. Click on OK, and now you can see the hyperlink up here. Okay, I have the target with underscore C. Okay, now I've got to be careful. Oh, I'm trying to copy this without actually clicking on it, so. At step 20, so the contact us, I want it to go to an email account. So, contact us, hyperlink. This time I want it to go to an email account and I want it to go to this address. It will automatically put the mail to in for you. Okay, that's important, that's code for the computer. I don't think there's a subject, but we'll go back. Okay, fine. I'm just click on OK. And now you can see the code there as well. OK, that has done. Now, we need to save this as uh, with one at the end instead. So, file, save as one dot htm.
and now it asks us to um, print the source code it's actually quite easy I don't want you to do this but you just click down the bottom there's design there's split and there's just code on its own and then you just go file print okay what I will show you to do at some stage is how to put your name in the header and footer okay so print okay page setup you can put your name in okay. now what we want to do is attach the style sheet J styles 2 so now I go go back into my design view just to see the look of it so format styles attach style sheet and I'd browse as normal and attach style sheet too. The problem the computer's got now is that I have two different style sheets. It doesn't really know what to use. It's gone for the second one, but just to make it make sure it all works properly, I'm gonna manage my styles. So manage my style links the one part and there's my style sheet one I'm just going to remove that one just to make sure they didn't play have any effect on what I'm trying to do so you've got here the new style sheet that's been attached okay um, now we need to save that as um, version 2 so file save as to now just HTM at the end, I just like to write in as well, doesn't really make much of a difference, just old habits and okay I need to open this in the browser and take a screenshot so it's very easy to open a browser so I go file preview in browser then I can choose which browser I'd like to see it in so if I choose Chrome and it will show me how it looks in Chrome. And then I'll take a screenshot of that if I need to make it look a bit smaller, if I just need to see all of it. Okay. So now I want to open jxc.htm. Okay, and then I need to. Looks like I've already done this before, but just to show you, uh, format styles. Okay, I'm going to manage the style sheet links because it looks like I was playing with this before. So it would look like this. Okay, now format styles, styles of links, browse, and style two. Okay, looks like I forgot to delete that from before. And on the text home, a link to JXR2. So on home, hyperlink. Okay, and in here I need to browse. And there's my two, so click on OK. It now appears down here. I click on OK. And save the web page. Okay. That will probably come in useful somewhere along the line. Okay.